Hello everyone, welcome to Deep Course. And today in this video, we will discuss the question 2527 that says find XOR butene of RN. So here you are given a zero index integer array nouns, uh, and you need to take select three indices from that i, j, and k such that there are there are data in the range zero to n. Okay, so these are the triplets, and further you need to find the beauty of the of this string. So the beauty is defined as nums of i uh, with bitwise or uh, nums of j and the total uh, bitwise n with nums of k so this is the definition of a butene and in the last you need to do xor of all these beauties so that is xor of all the beauties uh, that can, that is possible in this nums array okay so let us take a look at this first test case given here uh, we have two uh, uh, two integer in this nums array 1 and 4 so, uh, so we can take our triplet like uh, all as zero index zero zero zero, then two zero index and one one index. So these are the different possible combination for this one and four. That is index zero and index one. We found out that beauty by taking bitwise or and then bitwise and, and afterwards we take we took uh, the XOR of all these beauties. So this is done here. So on taking the XOR we got our answer. So to, to, to think here is uh, there are uh, so uh, in such, so in this type of question uh, instead of uh, going through a brute force approach and doing um, bitwise or and bitwise and just try to make different test cases uh, or uh, just try to think of what are the different possible conditions uh, that can be done here. So let's say you are given one array A B C. So let's say when uh, you are given some any array like a b c d a b any repeating numbers also present and you need to select a uh, triplet from this uh, so there are three conditions possible if you identify them uh, so one would one triplet possible is if you take all the index is same means all at uh, all the numbers are same this possible so if you perform the beauty you will get the number itself as our answer in the second case, in the second situation, what is uh, in for the triplet is let's say two numbers are same and one is different. Okay, so in this uh, in this situation, these six possible um, combination are uh, combinations are there for this uh, type of triplet. So here, as you can see, here the uh, A or A and B will give A and B, B or B and A will give B and A. And if you perform XOR of all these answers, you will see that these two will nullify. This two, this two will result zero because a XOR a is equal to zero. XORing with a similar number is zero. So this will be zero. Now further, a or b and a will be equal to a. b or a and a will be equal to a because we are taking it with n a. So this will nullify because XORing this answer would take a would be result into zero. Similarly, here x and both this answer would result into zero. Okay, so in this type of combination where two numbers are similar and one is different, all possible combination will possible will give result zero. I hope that is clear. Now, if uh, there is uh, one combination of triplet where all three numbers are different, so one possible uh, answer is so one possible combination here is a or b and c, b or a and c. So whatever would be the answer here, uh, let's say either 0, 1 or some number x, this both will result into same answer. Because here we are, here we are taking the order of these two numbers a or b or b or a is both is both is both are the same expression and taking n with c will give us same result. So taking x or of this number will again nullify and give result 0. Similarly taking x or of both this result will nullify and also taking x or of this result will nullify so all the combination of uh, present in this combination type 2 and all the combinations of this combination type 3 will give us result what 0 so the only possible combination is combination type 1 where all are same indexes okay so that means we are just trying to do x or of all these elements present here okay so i hope uh, you got the approach of how to do this and also the intuition of why you should 
try to make combination in this type of problem so this is a simple question if you understood this uh, uh, and it is now it, it is easy to code as we just need to take x of all the elements in the header so now let's move to the coding part let me initialize one answer variable as zero let me just now take xor of all n uh, integer from the nouns that is answer equal to answer xor n I have simply written answer so this is uh, the code here is simple okay now let me try to submit this yeah it got accepted so uh, I hope you understood the question and how we would solve this and also the logic why we are just doing x of all these numbers because other answer will just nullify so that's all for this video if you understood the solution do give it a like and subscribe to our channel thank you